Hey guys, it's Bree. Today I'm going to talk about the movie Seven Psychopaths, which is a great title to say when you have a slight lisp. The story of the movie is that Marty, played by Colin Farrell, is kind of a failed writer and he has this friend, Billy, who's kind of trying to help him write his screenplay called Seven Psychopaths. Billy is a dog kidnapper with his partner Hans, played by Christopher Walken, and they basically steal people's dogs and then collect the reward money for it. All these characters get mixed up together because Billy accidentally steals the dog of a high-ranking crime boss, and that's where the major conflict starts. I went into this movie with kind of mixed opinions already. I saw the previews and I thought this movie looked so hilarious, but then my friend informed me that it was the same director of the movie in Bruges, and if you ever talked to me before, you would understand that I hate In Bruges. Not necessarily because I think it's like a bad movie, I just think it's so incredibly unpleasant to watch. I can handle a dark comedy, but I think In Bruges goes too far where the comedy doesn't even matter because the movie is so incredibly dark. And I do not like it, and I was really not looking forward to Seven Psychopaths because of this, but I tried to go in with an open mind because it did look so funny, and I didn't want to see Paranormal Activity 4, so this was the next best thing. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. Me and the person I went with were both shocked just how much we liked this movie. I would absolutely go see it again. Bringing it back to Imbruge again, what I think this movie does so well that Imbruge didn't is that this movie has its level of darkness and its kind of really brutal moments, but the humor balances it out. The humor and the kind of ridiculousness of the whole situation, it balances out the darkness, so it's still a fun movie to watch, even though there's a lot of death and killing and kind of depressing parts. I mean, obviously, as far as the acting goes, Sam Rockwell, Colin Farrell, Christopher Walken, and Woody Harrelson, all fantastic, playing really great roles. Christopher Walken is hilarious as always. If you've seen the shotgun scene from the previews, you'll know that he's just gonna be hilarious, like as he always is. I'm having almost a hard time talking about this movie because I like it so much, I can't think of anything wrong with it. The only thing I can think that might be bad is that I think parts of it are a little cheesy, but I think that's kind of goes toward the narrative. Because the main character is writing the screenplay, and his friend Billy kind of has these really like stereotypical ideas in mind for the screenplay. The movie kind of plays out like that in the cheesy aspect of it. But it's really entertaining. And again, the dark parts are sad and dark, but they're good. Like it adds to everything. It doesn't it's not just senseless violence, which again, I kind of felt was what in Bruges was. Everything has a purpose and it's just a fun fun movie to watch. I really can't criticize this movie too much cuz I just found it incredibly enjoyable. Very quotable. I I think of like a hundred quotes from this movie that I think are so funny, mostly from Sam Rockwell's character. He's just so hilarious. I just liked it so much and I would honestly recommend it to anybody. It's got great acting, it's got a great story, the length is good, I was never bored at any point. Great dialogue, great action, it's fantastic. I can't say anything more about it. Go see it. It's great. Okay, that's all I have to say for today, so I will see you guys later this week.